hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing me for the first time i'm intentional favor and on this channel i film about faith lifestyle studying abroad and social work so if you like to join us in this family you are more than welcome to do so just hit the red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos and to you my amazing returning subscribers thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my videos <music> So guys, in this video today, I'm just going to share how I started my YouTube channel. This is a video that people have been asking me questions about, asking me for tips, for some encouragement, and for some advice. So I've decided, I know that one of the videos I filmed recently, I talked about or I promised to share some tips for people that want to start up a YouTube channel. So um. Basically, I'm just here to share my journey with you about starting my YouTube channel. In that same video that I just made reference to, in that video, I also shared why I became a YouTuber. And that is the first thing I will say when it comes to how to start up a YouTube channel. It's to have, like, have the right mindset, okay? Have the right reason for opening YouTube. Yes, don't just open it. There are several reasons I think people um, start up YouTube channels. People maybe because... People have been saying um, in some videos and lately that YouTube can be a another means of income, another source of income, and you can earn passively, you can do all of that. People just say generally that, yes, you can make money on YouTube. Whilst that is true, I will advise you, if you want to start up a YouTube channel, don't let that be the primary reason why you are starting up your YouTube channel. Make sure that you have the genuine intention okay make sure that it is something you love i like make sure what you love doing is the reason why you want to set up a youtube channel if that makes sense i'll use myself for example I've always loved helping people. I love seeing people improve their lives. I like giving people information. I don't hold information. I like helping people the best way I can. That's how I am. That's who I am, okay? So I started up my YouTube channel when people kept asking me about studying abroad and life in the UK. So I just decided to start up a YouTube channel where I can reach out to more people at the same time with information and tips about studying abroad and migrating to the UK, as well as share my experiences. I love telling my stories. Many times while I was in the university, people usually come to me for advice. I used to have people that look up to me. And one thing I've noticed is the place of lived experience. Because sometimes you might be going through something. When you hear someone that has gone through that similar situation you are in, I'm sure that you will be more encouraged, okay, when you hear from that person than when someone that you feel doesn't even understand you is giving you general advice or theories. That's why most times on this channel is all about lived experiences, okay? So make sure you have the right reason for starting up a youtube channel what will your content be what will you be filming about make sure it's something you love to him i'm saying this because at some point on your journey as a youtuber you will get frustrated you can release a video and you will not get views sometimes you can release a video for one hour two hours three hours you have less than 20 views it can be frustrating i know but if you have the right reason why you started your channel i believe that will be what will keep driving you and you will keep growing so that is how i started my own youtube channel i have something i wanted to share my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith as a christian um lifestyle other things about me my academics and of course studying abroad as well as social work so make sure you have the right um reason for starting up a youtube channel the second thing i will say about setting up a youtube channel which i thought about and i'm sure probably you might be thinking about is having a camera to film your videos with okay yeah so one of the things that actually drew me back from starting up my youtube channel um like when i had wanted to okay yeah i had this passion i had this um vision of helping people at the same time reach out to more people by sharing information on youtube but then i was actually drawn back by oh i don't have a camera i don't have money for camera oh my god i don't know what to do okay so um, maybe you are wondering the same okay until i came across a video we are a youtuber that i highly respect to look at solutions where she talked about how she has been filming her videos with a phone wow i was like i got so interested immediately i saw that um notification i clicked it and i watched her and as i then i think she was on 70k or there are about 75k subscribers and she was saying that she has gotten this far just by filming with phones 
even though she has bought camera then she said that sometimes she feels more comfortable filming with her phone then i had another drawback because her phone was um iphone and you know how people talk about iphone being good camera and and all i found someone that started a youtube channel that had to go and buy an iphone because person needed a good phone then i was drawn back again i don't have an iphone <laughs> And how am I going to start up my YouTube channel? I don't even have money to go and buy an iPhone now, okay? So what I just told myself is, start with what you have. And that is why I'm telling you, start with what you have. As I then, what do I have? I had my Chinko phone, my Chinese phone, okay, in Phoenix. As a matter of fact, I still film with Infinix. I still have that phone with me. Um, Infinix, what was it? Actually, the phone I came to uk with from nigeria yes that my chinko phone you know if phoenix phone now you know it's chinko it's not some samsung it's not iphone it's not hawaii you know all those big big phones it's just in phoenix original chinko phone okay so i just told myself to start up with what i have and that is an infinix phone a chinese phone regardless so i started okay and then maybe in a separate video i'm not promising i don't know when i'll film that i can tell you guys how i started but basically i started with my back camera i watched some of those videos set a mirror behind me and make sure that it's positioning well make sure it's recording you know and all of that so i started with what i have now Nobody, if I don't tell you that it's actually a Chinese phone, a Chinko phone, an infinite phone that I used to film my videos, you will never believe me until I tell you. Because, of course, the camera is good to the best of my knowledge. Of course, you can testify. Now, the, you, the um, phone I'm using to film this particular video is still an Infinix phone. I love Infinix phones. When I went back to Nigeria, the vlog has not come out. I had to go and get the latest Infinix phone I could afford because I needed to upgrade that one the memory was too small and the phone has started misbehaving because it was about three years already so i had to change it and i didn't go and buy iphone personally i don't like iphone so i had to go and buy another infinix phone and that is what i'm using to film my video so don't overthink it guys that's the advice don't overthink it start with what you have start with that your phone okay don't despise the days of little beginning you will get there i believe someday that i'll have all these stands i've seen some people some youtubers their studios how did i've seen a lot of that i will get there someday but before we get there we deal with what we have okay and we go with it so start from start with what you have and okay just keep it simple then the second thing or the third thing i want to talk about now is about editing that's another thing people ask okay so one tip you can get from the last one i shared and this one is about watching videos maybe that's why you are watching a video like this i also watched a video of a youtuber uh what's her name again kenichi women now I hope that's her son name kenichi yeah i watched a video where she talked about how she edits with her phone okay when i watched that video it's till now as i'm talking to you the same app she recommended the same app she talked about that was the app i went ahead and i got it and i subscribed to the premium i paid for it of course because if you don't pay for it it has this watermark that writes the name of it and the name of the app is power director okay check your google play store i'm not sure what iphone users use check your your store okay if you're an iphone user and go and download it power director then i would advise you can actually subscribe to the premium because in the premium you can have everything the watermark will not be there there are so many features you won't find on the basic one all right yeah so i watched that video so one thing is try and listen to other youtubers there are so many videos out there but watch the ones you can relate with okay make sure you watch videos that you can relate with as you can see i'm a nigerian okay and the people are the two people have mentioned that i I watch their videos and nigerians too these are people that i could relate with as i went away filming that video to look was still in nigeria yeah my solution she was still in nigeria when she filmed it kenesh mgemena is in nigeria so these are people i could easily relate with and watching one oibo person talk about some things that i know maybe i won't have access to or whatever so just make sure that you watch videos videos like this can help you and take action towards that okay so i got a power director and then i started my editing now one tip i'll give you as a, as a starter is keep it simple there is beauty in simplicity so people don't just try because when i started my channel i just told myself okay i won't put myself under pressure the best editing i can i'm not a pro it was just what kenichi taught in that particular video 
the basics that was all i got that and you know how if you are if you are if you are good you use phone you use all these stuff as you go you learn i learned on the go there were so many things that can actually didn't talk about in that particular video come on i learned it in the process my first video that i edited and one mistake i made in my first video when i was filming it i made sure that i talked throughout parallel i did not stop because i didn't know about all this cutting and you know editing now what editing is you cut you add you cut and cut no my first few videos i was trying to get everything talk straight and not make mistake and if i make any mistake naive me i will stop and i'll start again so no don't put that pressure on yourself but the thing is just start from somewhere there is beauty in simplicity you don't have to be an editing pro to start a youtube channel you can be as naive as i was trying to make everything straight so that i won't have so many things to cut because to cut out because i don't know how to use the app as a then but now I can talk anything, I can say anything, I can stop and I will continue. Maybe one of these days I save some of the blur parts of my first few videos, how I start and I will stop and hmm, I will take in a breath, I'll take a deep breath and I will continue again. Yes, I have some of those videos. That wouldn't permit me to edit and post them, but they, they are somewhere in my old Infinix phone that I sell my videos with. Okay, yeah, so that is it. Don't stress yourself don't put so much stress uh, stress or pressure on yourself keep your editing simple just do the basics okay just, just do the basics of course i'm not saying that you shouldn't have good quality okay there should be quality but don't put that pressure of becoming a pro all these are wishy wishy there, there are some editing sometimes even when it comes to thumbnail i think i'm trying my best to improve on my thumbnail and one thing about me is that when i see things in people that i don't have i appreciate people i've told the youtuber that wow your thumbnails are amazing maybe i'll come for tutorials like you know over the years, I've, sometimes I had to go and redo some of my thumbnails, you know. These are days of little beginning. Up to now, I've not gotten to where I want to be when it comes to editing videos, my thumbnails, and my video or audio quality and though yeah at a point you just need to get some basic things can you talked about a microphone then i got it i went and bought it you will use money i went and bought um tripod stand so these are the basic things you need you need your phone you need a tripod stand and maybe depending on the audio because if you can see guys most of my videos like 90 percent of my videos i don't have a microphone and that's because that particular one i bought i noticed it was not making any difference i think it was not working and i don't know how to return it i just felt like filming a video and i saw that the audio at the end of the day was not bad i'm still being heard of course it can be better okay but then i didn't put that pressure on myself i just film without a microphone but if you can lay your hand on the microphone get microphone so your phone get a tripod stand and then a microphone probably make sure that you you have a good background at first when i started i didn't have a ring light okay so all i do is that i make sure that i film my videos during the day and i face the window i make sure i open the window okay of my room and i'm facing it so that light can reflect so that my videos will be bright okay until when i now got a hard money okay saved up to, to me for me to be able to buy and it the uh, ring light i bought is the basic one i think i remember i bought it if you're in the uk i bought it at um What's it called? Um, not Audi. Lido. I got it at Lido for twenty pounds. It was just that cheap. Just basic. It's not those tall ones and all. That's what I'm filming with. I just put it on a desk, on a table or somewhere, then I sit down and I film with it. Okay. So you can always get there. If you don't have money for all this, just improvise. Make sure that you stand in front of um a a video um sorry in front of a window and face the light and make sure that you film when. The weather is bright, not dull, so that your video, these are the ways you can improve your video qualities the best way you can, even though you've not got a very um, enhanced digital camera. So these are the basic things about starting it, okay? Um, and I think the last thing I'm going to say is what I exactly I promised in the video I, I made reference to when I started this video, which is what has kept me as a YouTuber. I said it in person, please don't let number of subscribers, number of views, don't let all of that get you. You know, when I started my YouTube channel, this is what God told me. You know, at some point I'll release an innocent video. My video is just there, okay? I think I, I was feeling I do well and even till now, and before on my youtube channel of course i watch youtubers you see some videos that is so nice and lovely then i think youtube has disabled it now that people cannot see the number of dislike that you have on a video sometimes you see people disliking a video you'll be wondering ah, are you people normal what, what is wrong in the what is wrong about this video why are you disliking the video there will always be haters okay so in essence guys 
what I'm saying is that you should just don't have views subscribers at the back of your mind what has kept me when it comes to some hateful speech is that when i said and i was asking myself will i really be able to deal with hate speech people talking all this about me of course they get to me sometimes but what why it didn't stop me from starting up a youtube channel is the word that god gave to me and what did he say to me he put a scripture for me i can't remember where it is i'll look i'll, I'll remember it and i'll put it on the screen where bible says that who are you when all men speak good about you? you who, who are you when all men speak good about you? Honestly, when this word came to me, I was like, yes, it's true. <laughs> Many people will always hate you. People will always say bad things about you. See, if you are in this life and people do not speak evil against you, everybody loves you. Ah, you need to watch your back. Even the Bible said it. Who are you if all men speak good about you? Everybody will not like you. Everybody will not like your growth. Everybody will not like your videos. Everybody will not love your shine. But then, that's their business, okay? And I remember, I talked about it in that video. When I, I became, like, even though I have got this word, because sometimes you can have words, but things can still get to you. And when that was coming to me, God gave me another word. These are the two words that I now have that has kept me going, which I want you, if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel or you have a YouTube, you are growing, you are a small YouTuber like me, I'm still a small YouTuber, you are going somewhere, just have this at the back of your mind. The second word is that those that are for you are more than those against you okay yeah what is you when all men speak good about you but at the same time you should know that those that are for you are greater they are much more higher in they outnumber those that are against you okay people will hate you check the sometimes compare videos like this the likes are outweighs the dislike at the end of the day so people that will hate you they will be there okay you can't they will, like you you can't take them out they will always exist but those that are for you the people that love you that have got your back they are more than those that hate you and with this i think i've come to the end of this video please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it subscribe to my channel if you have not let me hear your comments what do you think about these tips and in a separate video i'm going to be giving you people maybe some tips on how i grew my channel yes i, I did some things and maybe I, I feel like maybe telling you i'm going to tell you guys some of the things i personally did that helped me for my channel to grow there are people that their channel have grown more than mine we are not at competition okay but just something that you can do i watch videos like that i put some things and they've helped me so far and of course with the wisdom god has given me to grow my channel and i'll be seeing you in my next video until then stay blessed remain intentional and take care of yourself bye